Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Hemel Hempstead at home in the National League South. Just coming off the back of a big win on Tuesday night, 2 0 against Wellin. How are you feeling after that and what have you built on from that? Yeah, I thought, thought it was all, all in all a uh, good performance. Um, we had to be patient. They you know, got into a good shape and, and made it difficult for us. And um, yeah, we kept moving the ball, um, kept believing in what we were doing and you know that was the pleasing thing, stuck at it and managed to get our two goals in the second half but you know I thought it was just as good a performance first half. Um, you know, we've got to look at when we get into wide areas, I thought first half we got into wide areas and probably won enough um, people in the box so you know that'd be something that we can we can definitely look at and how we can load up the box a bit more. Um, but yeah, I thought, thought it was a good game, and you know, in hindsight, you know, these games are like fine margins, and, and Rocco's made an excellent save at nil-nil. Uh, so you know, all being said and done, um, you know, it could have quite easily been a, a different um, take on the game and a different result um, if he hadn't made that save. And I think it was a little bit like that on Saturday, to be honest. Um, I don't think we played particularly bad and we was 3-0 down. Um, so that's the fine margins that we're working to and you know we've got to keep on working and work hard tonight and um, yeah, make sure we're ready to come Saturday. It could be worth mentioning that the, de the defence Tuesday coming off the back of Saturday and that result to defend as well as they did. Other than that one save three from Rocco, they seem to have it pretty well covered throughout the game. Uh, a really strong performance defensively. No, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Um, you know, I think there's probably four clean sheets now out of the first eight games. Um, so maybe even more. So it's, it's yeah, it's pleasing that aspect, and there's something that we want to definitely try and build on. Obviously, um, a big sort of uh, spell in the works, conceding four away from home. Um, you know, but you know, like I say, full credit to the players. They responded really well and and worked hard and. You know, it was a real um, dogged display, and it had to be. And you know, just delighted that we kept a clean sheet. And you know, we want to try and now build on that and get a run of them going again. And just to look at the opponents on Saturday, Hemel Hempstead, uh, pretty tough against them last season. A draw and a win in the two games. They've been pretty tough to beat so far. They've only lost to uh, only only lost two games this season so far. What are you expecting from them on Saturday? Oh, they'll um, be very buoyant coming here. Um, having picked up a great win um, at Chelmsford on, on Monday so that's a, a really good win for them so they'll be you know really looking forward to the game no doubt and it'll be, it'll be a tough tough ask again and you know like there is any game we don't take any team lightly in this league because you can get the kind of result that you got on that we got on Saturday you know very easily um, without playing too badly um, you can lose games by a big margin so yeah we've got to really concentrate on ourselves and, and make sure we're ready um, you know look at the squads there's a lot of minutes obviously with a Saturday Tuesday game and we have got a big squad at the moment so we'll see how everybody's shaping up and and see how see how we are but um, yeah we'll prepare prepare properly and uh, try to try and build ourselves on on our good performance on Tuesday. Looking at the squad is there anyone who might not be available or anyone who's coming back in? Um, Liam Vincent's um, gone back now from his loan. Um, yeah, Ruben will be back training tonight for the first time, so I might be a bit to ask, um, a bit of a big ask for him to come straight back in, but he's building his way up. Um, yeah, we've got Tutty coming back. We're just going to look at Nicky Wheeler tonight. Um, you know, obviously a, a massive player for us in the early part of the season, and you know he's obviously very eager to to get back and, and build on his fine form that he started with. So yeah, we'll have to look at him, see how he's getting on. Uh, we'll assess that tonight and uh, see where we are with him. But um, he's pushing for, for for a place as well in the squad. So yeah, obviously Jake um, thought he's a bit too much to go Saturday, Tuesday. He's been out for as long as he has. So see how he's shaping up. Um, yeah, Michael Class was it uh, ill. He's ill again tonight, so I think he's going to be a bit doubtful for Saturday, having not trained all week. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's a big squad uh, to choose from, and yeah, it's going to be um, a lot of thinking and, and and seeing what's best, and you know who's going to be best in order to try and get something for for the the home game on Saturday.
looking off the pitch at the crowd, it was a fantastic crowd for a Tuesday night, uh, just the other evening. How big is it to get a big, big crowd down Woodside Road Saturday? No, yeah, it'd be great. I think, um, yeah, I think the, the players for how well they performed early on in the season. We're only eight games in, um, but it's been a very good start, um, and I think they deserve to be playing in front of a big crowd. And um, you know, I really hope that the whole town now can can get behind the team. And you know, we are part of a big town here, and I think we just scratch the surface of what the the crowds can be. Although it's a unbelievable crowd for a Tuesday night, well over a thousand. Um, you know, we want to be pushing all the time and trying to get more local people in to, to support us and you know that's that's down to us to to obviously um, get them in and then when they're here, you know, provide them with, with some entertaining football which we always try to do. We don't always get it right by any stretch of imagination but we always try to play on the front foot and and be creative, especially here at home. So yeah, I'm hoping that um, you know the the crowd follows and obviously international weekend, no Brighton matches and stuff. So hoping we can draw one or two of of uh, their fans along as well, maybe. Um, and if they enjoy it and like it, you never know they might want to come back. So yeah, we're hoping for a big crowd um, to to get behind the team because it does make a a big impact. Um, you know, you speak to players and they speak about. The following that Worthen get is one of the first things that draws them to the club. So, yeah, hopefully um, a big following comes Saturday.